It's Umsum time! What if our nose became very, very long? Cool! Then Umsum will look like this! Oh, Umsum. <laughs> if our nose became very, very long, people may start drying clothes on their long noses. Our noses may keep on colliding with each other. Hmm. We may not huh? be left with much space to move in our home. Hmm. Our sneeze may now become extremely loud. Hmm. Birds may start building nests on our long noses. Hmm. Even elephants with their long noses huh? may start getting jealous of us. Hmm. We may now be able to smell better than a dog. Hmm. Taking selfies will not be an easy task now. Huh? Hmm. People may now start <laughs> fighting with their noses. Hmm. Even aliens may start running away from us. Ah! Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. Why do your eyes turn red in the pool? Ha! It is because of chlorine. Chlorine is not the main reason for this. Uh? Chlorine is added <laughs> to water of swimming pools because it is a disinfectant. It helps kill germs, thus keeping water germ-free. In fact, the main reason for our eyes to turn red is the oh. presence of our bodily fluids like urine and sweat <laughs> in the pool. Ew! Urine and sweat contain nitrogenous compounds like urea. Urea reacts with the chlorine present in water, forming chloramines. Now, if we regularly clean the swimming pool, then we can prevent the production of chloramines. But if the pools are not cleaned, then the chloramines formed can irritate our eyes, thus making them red. In addition to this, chloramines can evaporate from water. Inhaling these chloramines for a long period can result in coughing, <coughs> asthma, and other health problems. Hmm. Oh. Why do leaves change color in fall? Leaves contain various colored pigments like orange, yellow, green, etc. But among all these pigments, only green colored pigments called chlorophyll traps sunlight and helps leaves prepare food. Now, since green-colored chlorophyll has such an important function, the amount of chlorophyll is much higher in leaves, causing them to usually appear green. No, they're black! Oops, I'm wearing sunglasses! Now, during autumn or fall, there is not enough sunlight for chlorophyll to trap. As a result, leaves are not able to prepare much food. Hence, the plant begins to shed its leaves instead of wasting energy on their maintenance. However, before shedding, the plant absorbs required nutrients from the leaves and breaks down chlorophyll. Now, since chlorophyll is broken down, other pigments and leaves become visible, resulting in the change of color. Hmm. Huh? Phew, lucky you on some. <laughs> Why are manhole covers round? Because they copied my shape? Nah. Hmm? <gasps> Whew, manhole covers are quite heavy. So, round shaped covers can be rolled easily <laughs> from place to place. Also, round covers can simply slide and fit into the hole. But to fit square or Whoa. triangular manhole covers properly, they must be precisely aligned hmm? with the edges and angles of the manhole. <laughs> Now, the manhole has a small lip around the rim of the hole. This lip makes the opening smaller than its cover and prevents the cover from falling into the hole. But a square or rectangular cover can still fall into the hole if inserted diagonally. Why? Because their sides are always smaller than their diagonals. A round cover won't fall into the hole because no matter how you place it, the cover is always wider than the opening. Hmm. How do airbags huh? work? They don't work. They chill and relax like me. Nah. 
Airbags save our lives during an accident with the help of a decomposition reaction. What? Yes. During an accident or collision, it just takes about 50 milliseconds for us to hit the steering wheel. So, there is very less time within which the airbags must inflate. Hence, when there is a collision, the sensors called accelerometers detect it and send electrical signal to an igniter. The igniter ignites a chemical propellant called sodium azide which decomposes, producing sodium and a large volume of nitrogen gas. This gas instantly inflates the airbag. Now, since this whole process takes just about 30 to 40 milliseconds, the airbags blow before we hit the steering wheel, helping save our lives. Mm. What if we burn all the fossil fuels? Then I will eat all the burgers in the world. Oh, um some. Fossil fuel is a natural fuel such as coal, oil, or natural gas which has formed over millions of years from the anaerobic decomposition of dead organisms. Now, if we were to burn all the fossil fuels in the world, then more than 5 trillion tons of greenhouse gases, mostly carbon dioxide, would be released in the atmosphere. This would lead to greenhouse gas levels not seen in more than 400 million years. As a result, huh? global temperatures would increase by more than 10 degrees oh. Celsius. All the ice on Earth would melt, increasing sea levels by more than 100 hmm. feet, thus submerging all the coastal cities of the world. Lastly, rainfalls would be highly unpredictable. Some areas would receive extreme rainfall, while others would receive very less. Hmm. Why is it difficult to huh? lose belly fat? Because it has been glued using a strong uh -huh. adhesive. Nah. <laughs> when we exercise, our body produces two huh? hormones called adrenaline and noradrenaline. These hormones attach to specific receptors present on fat cells and help break down the fat. Now, our fat cells have two types of receptors, alpha and beta. Beta receptors are believed to stimulate the hormones further and accelerate the process of fat breakdown. Hmm. However, alpha receptors don't respond that well, causing the fat to break down slowly. Hmm. Hence, the ratio of the two receptors determines the rate at which the fat will break down. Now, as the fat cells mm -hmm. of our face, chest, mm -hmm. arms, etc. have more beta receptors than alpha, the fat breakdown is faster and easier. However, as the fat huh? cells of our belly, uh -huh. hips, thighs, etc. have more alpha receptors than beta, the fat breakdown is comparatively slower and harder. Hmm. What if glasses oh. were never invented? Simple. People will use <laughs> telescopes instead of glasses. Stop it, umsum. Glasses are believed to have been invented in the 13th century. Also, it is estimated that more than 40% of the world's population wears glasses or contact lenses. If glasses were never invented, people with the following conditions would greatly suffer. <laughs> Myopia or nearsightedness, that is, distant objects oh. appear blurred. Hypermetropia or longsightedness, that is, close objects oh. appear blurry. Hmm. Astigmatism, a condition in which people suffer from blurred vision. When we say glasses were never invented, it is safe to say that convex or concave lenses used in them were also never invented. As a result, astronomy as well as medical research would greatly suffer oh, oh. because telescopes and microscopes would not work without those lenses. Hmm. What if all coral reefs disappeared? Huh? Then I will join the Avengers in searching them. <laughs> oh, um, some. A coral reef is an underwater ecosystem which is composed of the skeletons of marine invertebrates mm. called coral. They occupy just 0.1% of the ocean's surface, but support more than 25% of marine life. If coral reefs were to disappear, <gasps> firstly, there will be a dramatic decline in fish mm. population as they depend on coral reefs for food as well as shelter. <gasps> Secondly, Popular beaches around the world would be in for a shock as coral reefs provide protection to coastal areas by reducing erosion due to ocean waves as well as shielding against the devastating impact of storms, hurricanes, etc. Lastly, 
Tourism would take a huge hit, as snorkeling or scuba diving might go out of fashion as the underwater world would no longer be colorful or beautiful.